We are asked to write the vector shown below in component form using a summer difference of the unit vectors i and j. Remember the unit vector i is a unit vector with a horizontal component of one shown here, and the unit vector j is a unit vector with a vertical component of one shown here. Let's begin by analyzing vector u. Let's determine the horizontal and vertical components of the vector by determining the change of x and the change of y, or the horizontal and vertical displacement from the initial point to the terminal point. Starting at the initial point, notice how we would have to move left one, two, three, four units. This vector represents a horizontal or x component of vector u because the displacement or movement is left four units. Let's label this negative four. And then from here we have to move up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine units. This vector represents the vertical or y component of the vector. Because we moved up nine units, we can label this positive nine. These values are the x and y components of vector u. Using angle brackets, we can say vector u is equal to open angle bracket negative four comma positive nine closed angle bracket, where again the x or horizontal component is negative four and the y or vertical component is positive nine. But we want the component form as a sum or difference of the unit vectors i and j. We'll notice negative four times unit vector i would give us the horizontal component and positive nine times unit vector j would give us the vertical component. And therefore we can also express vector u as negative four times the unit vector i plus nine times the unit vector j, which is what this question is asking for. And now let's take a look at vector v. Let's begin by identifying the horizontal or x component as well as the vertical or y component. Starting at the initial point, notice how to move to the terminal point, we would have to move right one, two, three, four, five units. This vector is the horizontal component. Because we moved right five units, we label this positive five. And then from here, we have to move down four units. This vector is the vertical component. Because it's down four units, we label the y or vertical component negative four which means vector v using angle brackets in component form is open angle bracket five comma negative four closed angle bracket. But again, we're told to express this using a separate difference of the unit vectors i and j. The x component could be expressed as five times the unit vector i, and the vertical component can be expressed as negative four times the unit vector j. And therefore we can express vector v as five times the unit vector i minus four times the unit vector j. And again, this is the form the question is asking for. In the next video, we'll look at a formula we can use to determine the x and y components of a vector using the ordered pairs for the initial and terminal points. I hope you found this helpful.